I want to share with you a story about one of the best teaching jobs I've ever had while working at Deer Lake Middle School. Now, Deer Lake just wasn't any school. It was an incredible one. I'm not saying this because of the way the campus or the community looked. This was a great job because of the incredible people that I had an opportunity to work with. They were energetic and smart and willing to do anything to serve children. Opening a new school with people that you'd never worked with before was quite interesting. There's no question that we thought highly of our school, but we weren't perfect. And like all schools, we all had challenges. Most of our students live in the community where the school was located, but others were bused there from surrounding areas. Working in a school that was located in a wealthy community had lots of advantages, but there were also some disadvantages, and one I would like to share with you about. Some of the students that we had in the school that did not live in the community didn't necessarily feel comfortable. As the students were getting to know one another, it wasn't hard determining who didn't actually live there. And so some students felt uncomfortable and really didn't want to be there. Now, this is how I got involved. I noticed a group of African-American boys surrounded by a group of well-off white classmates who were not shy about letting you know that that was challenging for these boys. And that frustration sometimes got them into trouble. So I decided to meet with my principal to talk with her about the situation. I asked if she would allow me to get involved with the boys. And she said, Jess, if there's something that you think you can do, then sure. Now remember, I was a full-time teacher with lots of responsibilities. So I created a simple plan that had really one objective. I really wanted the boys to become leaders at Deer Lake. So I chose the name Young Leaders as their new identity. Now, the first big step in becoming a member of the Young Leaders was receiving that all-important letter of invitation. Now, this letter was really important because this really was a way that we were inviting those boys for the real first time to become an important part of that school and that student population. But I want you to think about the mother. Your son comes home with this letter that speaks about them becoming a member of a young leaders program. Boy, it made you feel special as a parent. The young leaders program was really designed to help these kids feel like they belong to the school. But it was also designed to help the parents feel like they were a part of the school. And so when they received that letter, it was a special thing in their lives. We also taught them about developing goals for themselves so that they would understand why school was so important. The behavior changes that we saw in the boards was obvious to everyone. Taking on that identity as leaders, that really made these boys special. Poverty was an issue that caused these boys to really have a difficult time and to be vulnerable within that school population. As educators, we must be aware of the plight of all of our students, but especially of the students that are most vulnerable. The Young Leaders Club was a strategy that we use, but there are lots of other strategies that could be used when you're trying to address the needs of your most disadvantaged students. You know, the greatness of your school will be shown in your willingness to creatively respond to the needs of your most vulnerable students.